that are just trying to have fun. Great. Oh, and who are taking this just seriously enough not to just do stupid shit all the time. Like, stupid shit, it's okay to happen occasionally. Just don't, don't make a habit of it. Like, that's, that's what I ask for my teammates. For my enemies, feel free to make a habit of it. More fun if you don't, but I'm okay with that. Hi, Jax. How you doing? Yeah, well, this is definitely going to be a warm-up game. This is the longest I've gone without playing League in, like, over a month. Three days. It's a long time. The worst part is I didn't even manage to beat the heart on my Slay the Spire run. I didn't even make it to the heart. Ugh. And I had one of the craziest decks I've ever made for any character. Had I only made it to the heart, I was on the last boss in Act 3. At that point, if I just clear that guy, it's... I'm, I'm home free. Clear sailing. No problems. I just couldn't do it. I only had 7 life, 10 armor, and he hit for 37 on round 1. Not that I could do. Oh, I'll never, I don't know if I'll ever see a combo like I had in that game. I had a bottle for the spell echo effect. Which meant that I had that power always available on turn one. I had three things that made, uh, that made me intangible, which would from then on get doubled. I had the spoon, which meant that those things that gave me intangible also had a 50-50 chance of not exhausting, meaning they can give me another two turns of intangible later. It was insane. The most insane thing I've ever done in that game. I just couldn't do it. Ah, so sad. But enough of Slay the Spire. We're doing League now. I wonder, once the new patch kicks in, will the pros still be picking Urgot constantly? I think the answer is still going to be yes. I don't actually think it's going to change very much. It's mostly going to affect the solo queue players, not the not the pro players. Pro, pro players probably won't even notice it. Kindred. Just gonna do an early ward. Alright, we're both level two. So I'm getting all the farm. Perfect CS so far. For a first game of the day, this is very surprising for me. Normally, my CS on the first game is fucking awful. No! Okay, God, I still got it. Wow. Nice. Oops. All right, well, my perfect CS has stopped, but I did still get the cannon, and I'm farming well, and our Katarina got first blood. Really nice. She's taking a lot of free harass there. Those autos are going to add up. She's not a tank. She already had to chug a puppies. Now I'm missing farm. Now I'm farming like I expected. There we go. That's more like it. This is what I was expecting. So I'm trying Q-Max today. We're going to see. Um, Aurelia didn't get huge buffs. Keep in mind, she, a lot, she lost a lot of utility in her kit. Like, a lot of utility. 
And they're thinking of making her damage reduction be physical only. Meaning her W normally would reduce damage from all sources by 40% while she's doing that. They're thinking of changing it so it doesn't, it only, it's a 50% reduction on, um, uh, on uh, physical damage only. It's going to make uh, her have much clearer counters. Like, against a Syndra, she can't just ride out Syndra's ultimate. That's not going to work anymore. got it all. I'm farming really well, but so is she. Damn. She's farming? Damn, how the hell is she farming better than me? Unacceptable. Got you. Hi, how you doing? Jesus, you're taking a lot of damage. You need to leave, like, now. She did take teleport, though, so she can just come right back. Really crushed her right there in the trade. I'm gonna slow push this back and then either TP or walk up. We'll see. Yeah, I'll need to TP. I mean, like right now, her wave's the one that's pushing, so I can just wait. I don't need to do anything crazy here. Actually, it does kind of look like my wave's the one pushing. Damn. My careful cultivation of the lane did not work as planned. Hmm. Surprised she didn't go for that. Hmm. Zerva may not be as crazy as I thought she was. Hi there, how you doing? I, good. Hmm? Oh, never mind. I'll just chug a potion and stay. She just wasted her R for no reason. I thought she had something on me there. Cool, now I can just back. Very good. That was really weird. She just used her R to shove. This, 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 that, up over here. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna let it freeze. Let it freeze. She needs to back right now, otherwise I could murder her. Oops. What the hell? Actually could have gotten that. So right now, I don't know if this is a freeze, but if it isn't, it's very close, which means she's still gonna lose at least a wave worth of minions. Also, Aurelia lost the disarm effect on her ultimate, though she, she is getting a lot of damage to compensate for it, but she did lose that. She also lost the boost she used to have about her passive doing extra damage to shields, which was always really weird to me. I hit her right after that fell off. She's taking a lot of free damage, and right now my team's doing well. And now I have a slight CS lead, not that that means anything, it's just a huge wave here, and she is going to get a lot, if not all of it. I want to shove this into the tower, maybe get, oops, I thought I had a shotgun proc, I don't know why. Just balance this one out. 
Jesus. She was very close to dying in there. But she wasted her all then. Hmm. Well, she didn't win that. She didn't necessarily lose it either. There's a healing plant up. I can shove this out, go grab the healing plant. I don't even need to back. Though I should just back. God, this insanely long cooldown. The rank 1 W's got such a long cooldown now. I'm just gonna back. I was able to shove it out fast enough. But I'm gonna try maxing Q, see how it feels. It sucks, but I hate maxing W. It Maxing W sucks more. Um, let's get armor. Yeah, their team doesn't have much hard CC I can do anything about. Like, she's got a stun, he's got a stun, but that's it. Oh, and a root. But most of the CC on their team are knockups, so I can't really do anything about them. And hey, it's Rock, I'm not sure if I said hi. A little jittery this morning. Oh, good. She took a... She kinda took a tower shot. She definitely... She took more than a tower shot right there. No! Ah, oh, that would have been a kill. I threw it I threw it too early. I should have waited for a more guaranteed option. Mm. Oh. Sorry, you dear. He wasted his flash for nothing. Not necessarily nothing. I can kill her if my W ever comes back up. Yeah, that'll do it. That's what I was waiting for. That's what I was waiting for! Waiting for my fucking W cooldown to come back up. God, it's such a long cooldown now. Ugh. Thankfully, it's almost back to normal. I just need to get at max rank, and I'm almost there. It just feels playing. It just feels like I have to play so much slower on Urgot now. It's a lot less exciting. The funny thing was the ribbon wasn't pressuring me early, so I could play slower. Um, and now I got righteous glory, so that's great. Let's get a pink. Cool. Yeah, they're annoying. They're not that bad, though. I mean, I've swapped over to Monoflow Band. Once I did that, I don't even notice the Q nerfs. Because I'm used to not having much mana anyways. This actually makes me feel like I've got more mana now to throw abilities around than before the nerf. Simply because I used to not run them. Yeah, she can't even stand up to me. At this point, I can pretty much push her around all I want. I've got a full Righteous Glory, which means she makes a mistake, I can kill her. It will be very easy. It would be nice if the cat roamed, but I don't need the help. Right now, the lane is mine. It's just a question on whether the Ribbon wants to fight or not. What the hell? Cool, I got another plate at least.
I got her. I'm good, thanks. I got her. Funny stuff that, right? <laughs> Ribbon thinks she still has a chance. No, not while I've got my ult. Oh, we gotta leave. Just to be safe, I'll pop ghost. Cooldown's not that long, and I still have teleport, so who cares? Dang, we lost Tower First Blood to bot. Wow, our bot lane is 1 in 6. That's really fucking bad. Um, it's really bad. Okay. That's not good. Because right now, our cat's fed, I'm fed. And it's just our bot lane that's feeding. Which means their bot lane is strong. And their bot lane is two carries. It's really bad news. They have a win condition, and it's a good one. Our win condition's also pretty decent. Fed Katarina is one of the strongest win conditions in the game. It's ridiculous. She can win 1v5. Casually, if she's fed enough. I appreciate it, Cap, but there's really nothing we can do to kill her here. Just making sure that doesn't die. Hmm. Sorry. Hop over your wall, take the long way. I'm not going to let you take any short routes here. And thank you, Tom, for the subscription again, sir. I love you. Hmm. You want to fight? I want to fight. Somebody say fight. I like that word, because now my cooldowns are actually good. Now my W cooldown is decent. Oh, oh, you done fucked up now. You done fucked up. I don't even need to use my ultimate. I can murder you without it. I need no ult. You fucked up. You got too close to me. I mean, that's ridiculous. I can't believe I'm killing her casually without even needing my ultimate. That was just me popping the Righteous Glory and murdering her. Totally, totally underestimated my strength. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm sorry. You need to not make mistakes like that. You've got all the mobility in the world. You can't afford to do that. I mean, I'd love to, but this probably isn't going. I'll body block for you if you need it. Yeah. Let's just back. I mean, I'm feeling pretty ridiculously strong right now. Let's try and take advantage of that. Group with the cat arena. Let's see if we can do something ridiculous in mid. And man, 20 months in a row. Thank you again. Fed Kaiser can 1v5. That is true. A Fed Kaiser can. So can a fed Katarina. Alright, my glory's up in a few seconds. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you do not. Like I said, we can do some pretty ridiculous things here. Oh, that's not good. Wow. We're good. We're good. Everyone lives. We're good. We are fine here. Help not needed. Ow. Uh, dude, 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 get out. I can handle this. Get the fuck out of here. I can handle this. Reader is, is split. Oh, how is this doing here? Oh, Ten gold. Yeah, there we go. Now the cooldown's down to a reasonable level. Oh, nice. He's, that's a turret, then. That's definitely turret. No, I am taking this. Let him have the dragon. We're getting multiple towers. I'm 
I'm keeping an eye out here. Just smite it. There it is. That's all that matters then. We're winning pretty heavily right now. Our bot lane's the only weak side. And their bot lane is literally their only strength. They've got an 05, an 03, and an 01 on their team. We just need to push our strengths. Which right now is Katarina and me. We're both quite fed. Ooh. Let's just be careful. Let's chug these potions. The Argon nerf's really annoying, but nothing nothing too bad, uh, dude. Guys, please. Why is our bot lane trying to do shit? Seriously, why is our bot lane trying to do shit alone? Oh, now I miss my ult. This is really bad. Get the hell out of here. Alright, we're good. That was really bad. I mean, obviously my ultimate was terrible. It whiffed everyone. Nah, you ain't getting out of this one. You dead now! You did now! Once again, you took one step out of position, and you get murdered for it. Come on, Thresh, I believe in you. I think he has it, actually. Come on, you just need to land one anything. There it is. The Ezreal is actually going to get him, but that works. I'm going to grab this. Somebody else tank it. We don't have very long to do this, but right now their strongest carry is dead. We can do it. And I'm tanking this up nicely. That's free. Very free. And I still have teleport, so I can join them on a second's notice if needed. Let's get some magic resist. We're in good shape. We're in really good shape now. Um, this one good. Uh, all right. Yeah. Now we're past the Argon nerfs. They they're meaningless now. Once you hit thirteen, the Argon nerfs are literally meaningless because you've got your W maxed, and you have enough mana that you don't care if your Q costs ten more. But pre-13, it's really annoying. Just to make sure that Kindred doesn't have a chance of picking it up. Yeah. Right, let's push the mid. Katarina looks hungry. Katarina looks like she should be running. Katarina's dead, isn't she? We don't have much time. They're going to be here soon. We will take the turret, though. Oh, no. Whatever, she died first. I had an angled E shot there. Can we not, please? Can we please back away from this? Let's just leave. Let's just leave. You two are low. We're missing what, our strongest carry. Let's just back away. We got, we got a free turret. I say free, it ended up being a one for one plus us picking up that turret. We still have Baron, so. Huh? Nice wards. Alright, we just got two turrets for the price of nothing. Let's just keep it that way. I'm just gonna wait. We need to play around the Katarina. Yeah, no, they basically nerfed Urgot's levels 1 through 13. 
Once you hit 13, the nerf literally ends right there. Or it forced you to, to basically double your max. If you double your max, then the nerf really only hurts you till about level 5, at which point it feels okay. I accidentally. There it is. Hmm? No, you wanted to fight, Riven! You wanted to fight, let's fight! I mean, we have a Baron buff, let's just shove. Yeah, it's they, they I love how this Riven wants to fight! Yes, please, I'd love that, let's do it. <laughs> Me wanna fight! And, and unfortunately for me, I was trying to hold off the second part of my R until after I could get out of range, but it triggered early. I can't tell if it was because I was pressing R before I saw our ultimate and it pushed and it still worked after ult appeared or I don't know, but it doesn't matter. They still got fucking massacred. The poor Riven. Oh, the poor, poor Riven going up against the two most fed champions on our team? Really? After I just forced your kindred to have to use everything to save his own life? Ooh, hey, look. My first box of the year. Thank you, Ergot. Yeah, I'm the one who got the S here. Thank you. So where do I go to send a ticket? Hmm? I don't know if they're too... Oh my god! Wow, I wasn't expecting to have the most damage that game. I was expecting the Katarina. I mean, the Fed Katarina pumps a lot of damage out. But clearly, I must have done a lot of damage in that last team fight. Because the Katarina was... Like, I nearly killed Kindred. I killed Riven. That's a lot of damage right there. It's at least 4,000 damage of this. 14,000 right here. It's too bad it doesn't count the damage done with your ultimate while uh, enemy champions are immune. Because then my damage would actually be like a million. But the funny thing is, if you look over at Kindred... Oh, it doesn't actually show that. Dang. That sucks. I, when you do it to Trindamir, their, their self-mitigated damage, it shows it like 1,100,000... 111,000 and then a very specific number. It's just hilarious. Each time you get it, it's a 1,111,000 more added to the stack of self-mitigated damage. 